It's our weekly trip to a small town, and tonight we're headed to the town of Greenfield, a community with what's believed to be burial sites for the Ho-Chunk Nation. It's called the Man Mound, and for 1,000 years, people have been marveling at what the first people of this state accomplished. Eric Crest shows us more. Just about four miles northeast of Baraboo is Man Mound Park, a place that pushed its way into history through the work of Native Americans who piled the earth into a shape only visible from above. Didn't have uh, any way of getting that view, so they had to use their mind's eye to create that shape. Crafted about 1,000 years ago, the Man Mound stretches 214 feet tall by about 64 feet wide. There are places that the Native peoples created as a monument to their honored dead, to themselves. And at its center is believed to be just one person of great importance who is buried here. The assumption is that these were high status individuals. So they would be leaders, they would be chiefs, um, clan leaders, tribal leaders. Um, that, that's our best guess. Effigy mounds as they're known are becoming less and less common to find. 80 to 90 percent of an estimated 5,000 that once existed are believed to have been destroyed. The reality is humans use this land for roads, for, for buildings, for, for farming. And merely because of its shape, the Man Mound is one of the most unique effigies that's still around. One of the rarest styles of mounds are human-shaped mounds. And this is the only one that has survived. And while other burial mounds can be found across the state of Wisconsin, there are artworks that are reflective of part of their culture. Discovering one that's preserved, open to the public, and as large as this, truly is something that makes this site one for the history books. So it is a work of art. It has been created as such. And like any work of art, it's something that is created for future generations. In the town of Greenfield, I'm Eric Crest covering small towns for NBC 26.